Aloha Amazon Live viewers. Thank you so much for joining me. I am in uh, Terry Edmonds here. I'm in Maui, Hawaii, and I own Maui's only shoe repair. And with that, I get a bunch of really cool shoes that I get to work on. As you'll see on some of these racks here behind me, I've got some Chanel's, Louis Vuitton's, Louis Vuitton's, and all different kinds of designer brands. And I'm actually premiering one of my videos about high-end shoe repair, and I'll be premiering on my YouTube channel this Saturday. So if you're interested in seeing some of the uh, different selections of items that I do in my shop, feel free to check out that video. I'll put the link in the YouTube replay of this video. This video is about the supplies that I use to take care of your high-end shoes. I especially did a video called uh, Seven High Heel Hacks Every Girl Should Know. Anybody that wears high heels for sure. <laughs> so um, I've got that available on my YouTube channel. You can check that out. Uh, this happens to be a great way to reach me. I get uh, products from around the country. Um, people can mail them to me. This is my website, terryedmonds.com. And it's really easy. You can either go to my Amazon shopping cart to find these supplies that I'm going to talk about today. Um, you can also, if you want to send in products to me, you can uh, print out our printable price sheet. It gives you an idea of some of the things we do. You can also reach me um, through the website at terryedmonds.com. I have an email account there. So uh, let's take a look at some of these fun things. I had some really great shoes today to show you. So let's get started. Oops, here we go. Um, let's see here. So I have my Amazon uh, shopping cart, which I absolutely love. Thank you, Amazon, for recognizing my uh, videos. And they gave me some great encouragement to keep on plugging along. Uh, this is my uh, store called If This Shoe Fits in Maui, Hawaii. I also sell retail products. I sell uh, Danner boots, Keens, um, Ufos, La Plume, and orthotics, things like that. I also sell all of these supplies retail here. So I've been doing that for quite a number of years and feel like I can give you some pretty good advice. Um, but before we get started, we can't have the show without a little bit of ocean fun. So this happens to be on a recent weekend that we just were out in this gorgeous place. Uh, this is called Airport Beach. I've actually done a video um, that I'll be uh, putting out next week on my favorite beach spots. So this is really great. I'm actually using this GoPro. It's not a GoPro, but it's a uh, less expensive version of it that's on my Amazon shopping cart under beach. So that's really fun. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, a lot of these products here, like this one's pretty fun. Look at this. This is a Louis Vuitton. I have this regular client that comes in here. Isn't that kind of fun? Look at that skinny, skinny heel on that. I mean, Louis Vuitton's fantastic. Um, so I did a lot of cleaning first. Cleaning is always the best way to start to take care of your items, especially as we're coming into um, winter time for those people back east that are dealing with snow, um, wet ground, you know, your shoes can get uh, salt marks on them from the salt on the sidewalks. Um, so the very best product um, I use to clean I use the um, Lincoln Easy Suede Cleaner. If you're a follower, then you'll know that I use this a lot. It's a really great product. It's easy to use. And you just shake it up to get these little granules uh, mixed into the product here. And then I like to put it into a little Tupperware dish or a dish. And then I use my um, nylon uh, nail brush here that helps really get in there. And then you suds it up and then you're gonna wipe off the excess. It's that easy and it works on so many different uh, materials. Leather, canvas, suede. I have never had it ruin a shoe and I have cleaned thousands of shoes over my 20 years here in this business. So, easy suede cleaner, I give it a five stars. Then I follow up my all my cleaning products with the Cadillac Boot and Shoe Care. This is material specific, um, so you don't want to put it on suede or fabric, but it definitely is great on leather. And I've actually restored all kinds of things. If I get an old saddle or something, no matter what it is, I typically will apply the Cadillac boot and shoe leather lotion to it. Um, it is, they have, uh, let's see, wait, before I get going, hold on. 
I offer a masterclass series on my website. It's the whole 12 um, class episode. It's free to you. And I teach you all the skills on how to do these. And I do, I demonstrate it for you. So again, go to terryedmonds.com. It's my cobbler masterclass. Um, as far as the easy suede cleaner goes, um, I've done, like I said, I've done so many cleaning. Um, this was a beautiful satin shoe. I've done Gucci's, all kinds of things with it. Uh, right now, um, Amazon's offering it for about $7, which is a great price in store. I offer it for about 12, but I have shipping out here to Hawaii. Um, so you can really find some good stuff. Um, anyway, so that's great. Let's keep moving on. All right, so the brush, the suede brush, I do offer this in there um, just in case you want something that can get into these little angles. You know, it, was, it can get kind of tricky sometimes. So I did end up using this. I do love this little um, um, nylon wood brush by Taco. Um, I haven't found this on Amazon, but I did put an alternative and I have this brush as well. So anyway, that's really great. And now we're moving on to that Cadillac boot and shoe uh, leather lotion. Uh, right now, I mean, they're offering it for $8.39, which is really great. Um, it cleans, conditions, polishes, protects all colors of leather. Great for footwear, furniture, handbags, jackets. Um, I do a lot of jackets here as well, whether it's patching, whether it's restoring, dyeing them, and then, you know, giving them life again. This is always my very first product that I use. So it just, especially if it's really dry, I'll do a couple of coats of this and I just use a little um, old t-shirt just to rub it on and it's really great. So, and sometimes I've even gotten into using my paintbrushes. I love my paintbrushes. It helps get the little areas. So for instance, I just did a shoe that was half suede and half leather. And it was a, a beautiful shoe and it was brought together with a seam, a hand-stitched seam, and they call that a mock toe, moccasin toe. And I didn't want to get the suede on, the lotion on the suede. It, it will damage it. It makes it matted and you don't ever have that nubuck look again. So I just took one of my paintbrushes that we're gonna talk about here in a few minutes. You guys know that I love them for those of you that follow. And I just really uh, carefully went along that uh, border with the paintbrush. So wonderful product. Again, this is five plus stars. I love this product and while they have it, um, anyway, that's the, that's the magic right there. Okay, so polishing. Polishing really brings so much life back to your shoes. Um, I'm gonna grab one. So this is that shoe I was talking about. This is out of Milan. And it, see it's um, half suede and it's half leather. And it was kind of old and dry looking when I got it. So I cleaned it, then I conditioned it. Then I came through with my shoe polish. And luckily for you, I also have a masterclass on polishing because it is one of the basics of being a cobbler or a shoe repairer is polish. And I learned a very long time ago when I first bought the business that to buy the best quality products you can. And so I do the Lincoln Stain Wax. Um, before we get to that, I've done the master class and I also have some real basic polishing if you just wanna down and dirty get to it. Um, so this is another one that I offer. All right, so this is a great slide. It's a little hard to see from where you are, but this shoe was completely, I mean, it's taped together in this picture. <laughs> it needed so much help. And so I ended up gluing it, I cleaned it, I conditioned it, and then I actually polished it. I didn't use a dye on it because it has kind of a rough outlook to it. And I didn't want it to be super, super brand new shiny. And you can get that effect if you use a polish um, but in those videos that I um, show you, if you use the right color, you can keep it from looking too shiny and new. You know, I get like this guy wanted to look cool and hip. And I put this Vibram sole on it, Vibram sole out of Italy, and it just rock in that boot. So that's really great. So I did that for this guy. And not only did I use the paintbrush for the uh, cream polish, which is what you're gonna see here, 
in the shopping carousel, I offer the uh, Money's Worth Best, which is what I use. It's really creamy. It's a, um, it's like a conditioner, but with a little bit of a tint to it. And it restores the leather, but it doesn't necessarily protect it. Where the wax comes in is the protect. It, it, that's that level of that. Uh, Money's Worth is, <clears throat> Amazon's offering Money's Worth for $9.49, which is a really great price. Um, actually, I probably should check online and raise my prices, but um, that's a really great price. This jar will last you quite a few pair. I mean, lots of pairs if you're a gentleman that's polishing your shoes regularly. You can probably get a couple of months out of it. So great product. I wouldn't look anywhere else. I just love Money's Worth best. All right. Next, if you're going to do this project right, I recommend getting the right tools to apply them. So um, I use this, when I do my money's worth of best, I use a uh, old t-shirt just to apply it. And then um, I let that set. I don't buff it off. I like to just let it kind of soak into the leather. Then I follow up and these brushes are really great. I mean, they are so nice. They're horsehair. The brushes that I use, I've had since I bought the business. I just clean them, but they last so long. Uh, this is that Taco brand again. And um, you also want a nice brush to take off the product. So if I'm doing a light color like all of my um, cognacs, my neutrals, all of those, I use the light applicator and the light brush. Then, and, and if you have a collection in your closet that you, you know, kind of like to keep your colors separate so you're not depositing one color onto another shoe, what I do is I have just a nice bin and I have all of my, my mahoganies and cognacs all are in one section because they're not too far off. So if I do use a mahogany brush on a cognac, it's, it's a complementary color. So I have a bin just for my blacks. I have another bin for my dark browns, and then I have another one just for the neutrals. And so I recommend that if you are doing a lot of polishing. But these brushes are fantastic. Um, they don't have the price listed here, but um, set of five shoe brush kit. I mean, that's really nice. Horsehair multifunctional shine brush kit for leather shoes. Um, they say suede, but you don't want to use polish on a suede you don't use polish on a suede. All you can do is, um, you know, brush up the nap like that with your, once you've cleaned it, you use your dry brush and just brush up that nap to get it lifted again, brightens it up. You can buy an aerosol paint to paint that, but very tricky because this guy's got leather and he's got the soles. So you'd have to tape all this off and, you know, really get artistic. So not impossible, but there's a special product made just for suede. All right, and here we are, Lincoln Stain Wax. It is the ultimate, other than Shinola, I think they both are um, equal uh, in quality. They last a really long time. Um, they've got this really easy, what are they offering it for? $15, that's pretty right. They've got a nice little uh, press here button. You just open it up and that's what it looks like. And then you would take your uh, horsehair, this is a dauber, that's what they call it, a horsehair dauber. And you would just swirl it in that wax and then you would apply it to the shoe, okay? Um, if your wax dries out, the lovely thing about this is you can actually heat it with a heat gun and get it into this real flat state again. So these will last you so long. Oh my gosh, they're really great and I tell you, a kit like this is a wonderful gift for someone as the holidays are coming, you know, it's something that that guy that's really hard to shop for um, probably would appreciate it unless he doesn't like to do the polishing himself. You can always go to a cobbler like myself and have them done for a pretty reasonable rate. Okay, so then let's say that you've done your polishing um, and maybe, maybe the shoe is just really, really old and dry. I've had some that were black, but they look gray now because they've lost all their pigment. So what I recommend is taking this one step further and buying the Angelus Jet Black Leather Dye. Well, whatever color, they offer about 
40 colors. Um, so you want to make sure to, when you're clicking onto the Amazon link, and it's only $7, so uh, when you're clicking on that Amazon link, make sure you're getting the color that you're looking for. Um, and some of the color swatches aren't exactly as they look. So if you're going to try a color and test it, test it on a scrap piece of leather. That's what I do. I have made my own color chart just with all of my leather co dye colors so I know really what it's going to turn out like. With that in mind, you can also alter that color by adding in the wax or a cream polish. I did a video um, about some gorgeous Allen Edmonds. It was a whole collection and it, they were one customer and he was very particular and I understand they're a beautiful shoe. So I had to make sure to really get that right color of cognac or really get mahogany. And that was so fun and lovely. So the point here is that you can really mix and match, okay? And the if you are gonna go to the extent of dyeing them, do the leather dye. Well, I actually would condition it first to soften up those areas that are exposed. And then I would do the leather dye and then I would put my polishes on. And hello to who's writing in. Thank you so much. I wanna see what you guys are saying. I can't miss out on this. What's up, Kyle? How's it going? <laughs> hey, nice to see you guys. Thanks for uh, joining in. I totally appreciate it. Um, all right, so there we go. Now, let's say, for example, I did a leather coat and it was dyed and it was polished, but it had some uh, paint remnants on the jacket. It was this guy's dad's jacket. It had some red and some white paint splats on it. And if that client had wanted me to completely make that jacket black, it was his son, then I would have covered up those spots. Those spots wouldn't be covered just by the dye alone. You'd actually have to use paint. So let's move into the paint section because uh, there are so many different applications for paint. Um, anyway, let's, let's go, let's check it out. So paints, I love the Angelus brand. They are super popular, uh, guys with Nike, Air Jordans. It is a great product to use, especially if you've got a white Air Jordan. <laughs> white is really hard to cover with a polish, so you basically have to paint it, and that's what I do. I paint mine. Uh, this happened to be, this is a gal, I think we're headed there. Okay, but so anyways, let's talk about paints for a second. They come in one ounce, and then they also come in a four ounce. So, you know, I like the one ounce because it gives me a chance to test all the colors and they probably have 200 choices, maybe more, maybe 300 choices. They've got, um, it, this, this option that I gave you here is a, is a pack of 12 and they're all the four ounce. So they're the big bottles. So if you don't want this, you can find the one ounce option. And, um, but they also have metallics. They've got neon, and I'll show you some samples of that. So be sure when you're ordering um, that you're really digging around through the product and making sure you're getting the color that you're looking for, okay? I also love to use these great brushes. Oh man, they are fantastic. And I tell you, yesterday was a perfect example. I was trying to do this with one of these, my old oil painting brushes, you know? And um, these other brushes here are so nice. They've just, they've got really, let's, let's see what they say about them. Um, it's the, uh, let's see what they're saying on it. Nylon hair, acrylic paint brushes for acrylic oil, watercolor, face, nail art. Um, it's just, they're great. And they come with a whole bunch of sizes. So I ended up ordering like a four pack because I use them all the time. I have some designated just for certain colors like the uh, polish. So this gal brought in this Prada. She brought in a couple of Pradas. I think that's next. Let's take a look at it. Um, a little hard to tell from the picture, but this whole heel was completely scratched up. 
faded, you know, and as the gal, I said, well, you know, it's a custom color mix because the orange was too orange. This has more of a brownish orange. And so I said, well, it's gonna be a custom color mix. It's gonna be a little pricey. And she said, well, they're Prada's, do it. <laughs> so I did. And I got the perfect color. I mean, boy, they just turned out so nice. Look at that. And this, because of, I did all of this. I did all of this trim. I did this front area, this here. And the Angelus comes with a brush in the lid. Okay, it's like a regular little nail brush. But it's really hard to get into certain spots. It's hard to get a lot of the product on it. So um, after I mixed it using my cute little uh, paint mixers, these are on my Amazon shopping cart, you guys, under um, painting supplies. Um, so I mixed it with uh, some, like a muddy brown color, and that helped bring the brightness of this orange, it dulled it down a little bit and brought it into this warmer look. So I just really loved it. That was so much fun. I did the orange ones for her. And then I also did the black ones for her, but we're also gonna be looking at the new sole on that. So we'll save that for a couple minutes here. All right, let's keep moving. Um, this happens to be just a demonstration of some of the other uses of these great paints. I cleaned this bag with the Easy Suede Cleaner, then I conditioned it, and then um, I did a little test of, my, of cognac shoe polish from Money's, Best, Money's Worth Best and it wasn't really soaking into the leather enough to give me that nice finish. So I went ahead and did another custom color mix and painted this whole trim so it just looks really stunning. The client, I was definitely stoked about it because it needed a lot of work. Some other options. This shoe used to be, I think it was a brown, and this client has these in every color from my store and she wanted this color blue, which they don't offer. So I did a custom color mix on the blue to get the right tone. And then I added a, a um, pearlized coat to the top of it. So it gave it that little bit of a uh, pearlized look to it. And it is awesome. She tells me that her, uh, her she works at a hospital and her staff just loves them and she's just darling. So I'm sure that they look great on her. So I did a whole bunch of those and that was really fun. Oops. There we go. Okay, so this is an example of using the neon colors. This bag was the color of this tassel. It's a beige color. But she had this Fluvog shoe that she absolutely loved. And of course, Fluvog, look at his designs. He's amazing. And it was this kind of a tricky, not just kind of, it was a very tricky color to try to color match because it had a grayish tone to it. But I started with a very bright, vibrant, fluorescent peach. Um, so after doing my color mixing, um, I went ahead and painted the bag. Um, with the bag, this paint is, it's an acrylic paint. So if you're gonna use it on a, a strapping or something that bends and is flexible, then you wanna make sure to really water it down and apply many, many, many coats so that it doesn't make cracks when you uh, bend the straps. So that's what I did. Um, on this one here, this strap, I mean, I think it took me like 25 coats. <laughs> but I did a video on it if you guys wanna see it. I was doing this, it was really fun. So I love being able to use these bright colors. This happened to be the same client that did that blue shoe. She really loves color. So I love it when she gives me the opportunity to really be creative. So that was super fun. Uh, something else, I did a motorcycle jacket. I've done a lot of these kinds of things. Just bought a little template, a stencil template, and used these brushes. You know, you can use the fine tip if you want. Um, and just, you know, gave them this nice motorcycle suit. That was fun, I love it. Okay, moving on. One of the other great applications for the paint is the Louboutin brand. So I have these, so cool check this shoe out oh my gosh this is what it looked like before 
it's kind of hard to tell, but it was kind of beat up and um, very beat up. And so um, I went ahead and did two coats of the, they make a walk on red, which is for more of that orange colored bottom. But I find that the actual red, just basic red from Angelus is the perfect color for the Louboutin soles. And anyway, and I've applied a gloss to it. He's going to New York to travel on a vacation and he's gonna hit all these fancy restaurants and stuff. So I wanted to make sure to really, but I have to show you guys this shoe. Check that out, isn't that fun? I mean, it looks comfortable. So anyway, uh, that's one option. Another option is actually putting on a, uh, I don't think you can see it in that picture. Let's move this over. These are sole protectors and you can buy these on Amazon. This morning I tried to quickly look for it and plug it in for you guys and I, I didn't because I had my iPad and it doesn't work as easy. So uh, this is something you can do at home. They make them in this red, which is really nice and they just peel off. They have a little sticky back on them and they have different size. You can, there's a trim size that you can do and it goes right on the bottom. So if this were a red sole, see I made a custom sole on that. But anyway, you could do a red sole like that and it keeps you from wearing out your Louboutin. So that's really fun. And, um, but Louboutin, Louboutin, they also make, let's see, they've got the red paint. They've got some clear that you, a uh, clear plastic that you can put on that's like this sole protector. And we're gonna talk more about this in a few minutes. So let's move on for a second here. All right, stretching your shoes. Uh, let's say you've got some gorgeous little shoe like this. Look at this gorgeous Valentino. Oh my. This client brought in, uh, I actually had two clients on the same day. One is this one and where's the other one? Here we go. So gorgeous Valentino. I actually put heel caps on this, um, but if you wanted to, you could um, stretch this out. Let's say your foot's a little wide. Well, in the Amazon shopping cart for you guys, well, before I hit on that, let's touch this. I have done multiple, multiple videos on how to stretch your shoes. If you've got a bunion problem, check out the shoe stretching for bunions. I specifically work just on that. I do the adding width, which is probably the biggest one because most shoes aren't wide enough. For instance, this shoe. <laughs> this is definitely not shaped like our feet, so they're beautiful, but I'm sure that they uh, would be nice if they were stretched a little bit. So in the Amazon shopping cart, I did bring in this little shoe stretcher, which is lovely. I mean, if you want to add something to your uh, closet just to have, these are great. Super durable. I was hesitant at first because it was uh, plastic, but I've used it quite a lot. And um, it's great for a little project like this. We actually, I would undo this. You stick it inside and then you twist this handle. Look at that cute little detailing on that. I love it. Um, but they also, I also show you in um, this one here, this, the one on the Amazon shopping cart, I have the short one like this, which is great for these little shoes. But what you're seeing here is for the boots. And it comes with all of these great parts. Uh, you can put these little, um, these little nodules go onto the front, just like this one came with that. And you can put little nodules on these. So if you have a bunion, you can put that on there and then twist it nice. So that's really great. I really, really like these. Shoe stretching. Um, I did have a comment on one of my shoe stretching videos about the big machine that is fantastic. It's a few hundred dollars. and. If you can find one, you want to make sure that they go up to the size that you need, but they do length and width. And if it's a short machine, it can only do a short shoe. If you want to do a boot, you have to get the boot shoe stretcher and they're about, I, what I saw was about $900. So you can always send me an email if you have a question about it. This is, um, this is this cute Louboutin. Look at that. Oh my gosh, this orange color was just so fun. I get to see so many really fun shoes. And while we're on uh, Valentino, look at this one. This has the Valentino uh, pyramid rivets all the way up the strap. I mean, these are just so fun. 
So this one, I when um, I actually put a half sole on it for her. This is called a topi half sole, and it keeps you from wearing through the shoe, which is where we're going next. It's uh, sole savers and resoling. So I, this is one of my one of my biggest projects that I get in my cobbler shop. And most of these really beautiful high-end shoes are made with a sole that is very, very thin. This is the original sole. It's super thin. And I put a beige half sole and custom designed it so it fits perfectly on the bottom of that shoe. See, now she can walk, she can get all of the edges and it won't hurt the shoe these little half soles and see they make them in another color like let's say the beige she could have opted to go with this beige half sole and do it herself right that's always an option but the problem is that they don't cover all of the edges of the shoe so when you get one of these very thin soles it just walking on the edges wears them out and then you have to end up getting a new resole in leather which is possible because these brands are so nice they make them resolable. So anyway, that was what we did here for this little Valentino. I did it from here to here. I covered any area that I thought she might rub or, or wear on it. And so that's quite lovely. And your shoe cobbler can do that. I really recommend going to a professional for that because they can trim out the edges to make it look classy. Okay, so um, let's see. This was a really, um, this was really fun. These were a bunch of Louis Vuittons, really cute. This is on that video that I'm publishing this weekend about uh, high-end brands. And I did a full resole here, I did a half sole here, and a full sole there. Up until this point in time for her, everybody had told her no. It is a hard project to do. They crumbled off, the originals had crumbled away. And so I did it. I'm pretty good at it and I like doing it, it's fun. And this would be an example of that. This is that Prada, and I think I actually have a picture. So for instance, this was um, this fantastic Gucci wedge. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at how fun with the Gucci material on the top. And boy, this shoe has held up so well. It's really beautiful. And I put a this was what she had on it. She had bought one of these and put this and see it just, she was wearing on the outside of it. So I tore that off, put a new beige half sole on it so it doesn't look obvious. And then I came through and hand painted with my Angelus paint. I hand painted the edge to look black like the original did. And it's just wonderful. So I've done quite a few Gucci's for this gal. That's pretty fun. And this is the shoe that I have in my hand right now. This is the Prada. And I did repaint all of this, but the sole was crumbling. It's this rubber compound that uh, some, some designers use, and I, but Prada's pretty awesome. But it was crumbling, so I just chipped it all away and then put this new sole on it. I used the quarter inch because the gal's a little short, instead of doing real thin, this is a quarter of inch crepe, and it is on my soling material on the Amazon shopping cart. And it's fantastic. All right, so that was super fun. Did we see all those cute shoes? And then we saw the Louis, okay, great. Now, um, there we go. So I think I've, oh, just a couple more things. Um, I also recommend things like these little heel grips. I get a lot of gals that buy their pump and it fits great when they bought it but then they've worn it and it's now it's too loose there is it is so hard to make a loose shoe fit tight again you can always go wider but it's hard to make them tighter so heel grips are a great way to do it i haven't put these on the amazon shopping cart i've been busy but i will at some point i'll do like an orthopedic kind of uh supplies so uh, wonderful and then one more heel hack that I didn't include on my Amazon shopping cart yet but I will and it is these sole mates if you have a high heel shoe and you either want it to be more stable because it's so pencil thin or you're going to be at an outdoor event then I recommend these these are by soulmate it's kind of hard to see them but that's the point they disappear 
So for instance, let's grab this shoe. I think this one is a small, this is the classic, so this is the medium. And they just slide right over the top of the heel like that. This one's a little loose for the shoe. I would do a small on this one, but that's the idea. So, and it also keeps you from tearing apart your shoes. So a lot of girls who are doing like outdoor weddings and their brides, their bridal party and all of that, great little trick. Um, we started this uh, show with that video um, thumbnail of high heel hacks. If you are a gal or a guy that have a ton of high heels, I recommend checking out that video. It is so comprehensive. It has a lot more of, of practical, helpful information for you that this doesn't. This is kind of general, men and women, loafers, high heels, all of that. That video is specifically for high heel hacks and making your shoes more comfortable. I am so glad to see you guys. Shout out to my mom. Thank you so much for watching. I enjoyed my summer break. I'm glad to be back with you guys. And thanks again for Amazon recognizing my channel and supporting me and encouraging me to keep on doing it. And thanks for watching. You'll see this on the replay on my YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and to like, and thank you so much. Mahalo and aloha from Maui.